Also just released a new firmware and Tone Studio update for the Mark II line of katanas and I'm going to walk you through the update process for them both. This might be a long video but it's meant to make this process a little easier through audiovisual learning. So this update improves the following things. On your line out there are now custom settings that have been added. An effects chain has been added. You have solo EQ, pedal bend and center OD have also been added. And from what I understand, the Centa OD is like a Centaur clone, or Clon clone. Um, contour, in addition to switching between the three types of tone definitions, characteristics can now be configured to your own settings. You can now use both each foot control jack as a solo jack. Not sure what that means, but I'll elaborate a little bit more here in a second. Uh, EQ2 has been added, so now you can use two EQs. Now you can also set three types of global equalizers. I'll leave a link in the description where you can view those new updates from the Studio Rats channel where they do a fantastic job of everything Katana and maybe they can explain that solo foot control thing a little bit better. I'm not sure. We'll start with the system update, otherwise known as a firmware update, and these instructions are the same for the 5100 and the artist. But before we do that, I highly suggest you do a backup of your current tone studio while connected to your katana. Once you've done that, then we're ready to get started. First and foremost, we want to download the software that we are going to need. So I will leave a link up in the description, but this is where you need to go. Uh, so click on that link, and then the first one you want to do is Katana Mark II System Program Version 2.0. Click on that. It's even going to give you all the instructions there. You're going to click agree and download file and it downloads a zip file. You're going to hit the back button and then you want to download Tone Studio for Katana Mark II version 2.0 for Windows. There's all the instructions. The instructions aren't that easy but sometimes seeing it done in a visual way uh, it makes it easier. So it's going to save those two files right there and we'll get to those in a little bit. With the USB cable still disconnected, locate the tap button and power on the device. The five effects indicator lights will flash and determine which version you have. If you have just the boost light on, you have the newest version. If you have any other lights on, you have an older version, but chances are you don't have the new version because it just came out. While still disconnected from the USB cable, turn your master volume all the way to zero. While holding the channel 1 and panel button at the same time, go ahead and power on your amp. Once it powers on, you can release those two buttons. You may now reconnect the USB cable to the amp. Let's get back to the computer. Back to your computer, you're going to open this PC and you're going to see the Boss Katana Mark II icon. Do not copy the system folder into the Boss Mark II icon. Okay, so open it up. Removable disk may appear instead of the Boss Katana 2 icon. It showed up as Boss Katana 2 on my computer as you can see. Now we're going to copy, drag and drop, all files included in the Katana system folder. Not dragging and dropping the folder in there, just the files. So you can do one at a time, or you can click on one and then uh, hit shift and click on the other and then drag them back over at the same time. Or while you're over here, another is control all, we'll select them and you can drag them, drop them over there. Disconnect Boss Mark II from the computer. Best way to do this is just like a USB. We're going to right click on it and we're going to eject. Let's go back to the amp. Now that you've ejected the katana from the computer, you can unplug the cable from the back. Now you're going to see the panel button blinking right there. Now you're going to press that panel button to start the update. The effects indicator lights will flash one at a time until they are all red and then all orange. And then lastly, once they're all green. Once they're all flashing green, you're ready to go. Powered on to Mark II, and let's go back and install Tone Studio. 
Now let's install a new Tone Studio. This is easier than the last part and we'll be installing it for Windows. If you need Mac instructions, I'm sure there aren't, they aren't much different, but they can be found in the links in the description. Before you get started, it's important to know the system requirements for your PC. Uh, if your PT PC doesn't meet the requirements, you may want to rethink installing this version of Tone Studio and opt for the Android app called Katana, which I sh probably should have mentioned all this before I even started the firmware update. So basically, you need you need Windows 10 or 11, and you need a resolution of 1280 by 768. Uh, pretty much any new computer since 2015 will work. So you've downloaded this file and the software, and here it is. You open it up, and... And I'm going to hit next, and it's going to say it already exists. Do you, would you like to install it? Yes. We want to replace the old version, so we're going to install. Hopefully, it'll keep all our settings from before. I'm really crossing my fingers on this one. We've got to launch Tone Studio for Katana 2. Before I do that, I'm going to plug in the amp. Now, we no longer have to go back to the amp because we've done everything over there we need to. So I'm going to turn on my amp, and I'm going to hit finish. And you're going to select number two, Katana. Uh, you should only have to do this once and hit OK. Let's see if it brings my settings back up. That would be wonderful. It did. That makes me so happy. So after starting the application, if connecting Boss Tone Studio for Katana Mark II and Katana Mark II is not possible, you may have to change your window setting to allow apps to access your microphone, which is very simple. You go down to Start. You click Settings. You go to privacy, to microphone, and you may have to click allow apps to access this microphone. It's already on, so we're good to go. All right, now you've installed and you've launched Boss Tone Studio for Katana Mark II, the version 2.0, which has been a year and a couple months since they've sent out an update. Last update was Metalcore and ML2. It wasn't or ML2 and HM2. It wasn't a big update, but it was significant enough where everybody wanted it. So... If you haven't done an update to that, don't worry about it. It's in this one. And let's check out the, uh, see if we can see some of these settings. Uh, let's see, system. Okay, so line out. You got some custom settings here. Line out, airfield, record, live blend, uh, custom settings, M1 and M2, and microphone type, and microphone distance, and the position. Uh, global EQ. You can make your own global EQ, USB settings. I don't remember that before, but that might have been in there. This tells you your version. This is an all data backup if you needed to. Device settings. And your owner's manual. You can download that too. MIDI settings. Let's close that out. Let's go to the boost and see what else we got that's new. There is your Senta OD. Uh, what was the EQ? EQ2. There's EQ and EQ2. Now, in other effects, was it mod? Was it mod? Is there an EQ and graphic EQ? So you can have like three different equalizers on this thing. You can have EQ1, EQ2, and regular EQ. That's a lot of EQ. What was the other uh, ones? Let's scroll up here. Uh, solo. 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 Okay, so solo EQ. I don't remember seeing all this before, but maybe I just never... Okay, solo and contour. Those got to be new. Those are the new ones. Contour type. That's pretty cool. Okay. There's your, uh, so that's pretty much it. I've left a link in the description for the Studio Rats. Uh, the dude kind of goes through it and explains more in depth of these updates and plays them a little bit. So I hope this really helped out a lot in installing a new version. Enjoy. See you on the flip side.